I'm Robbie Williams from Environment Agency and I'm the Operations Manager. Uh, that means that I'm responsible for, for this uh, structure and all the structures uh, in, in, in the area. I'm nearly two miles downstream from Pultney Weir in the centre of Bath. Behind me is Twerton Gate. Twerton Gate is part of the Bath Flood Defence Scheme. Uh, it was built in the 1970s and by now, which is nearly 50 years old, uh, it's getting quite worn and ready to be replaced. We've successfully got the funds to, to start the project and we have started a replacement and refurbishment project uh, to make sure that uh, the structure is able to do what it needs to do for the next 50 years. Probably should be called Twerton Gates because it's actually made up of two gates. Uh, on your left is the radial gate uh, which moves uh, in a radial fashion and then on your right is the vertical gate which lifts up and down. We use these two gates to control river level here. The gates are here primarily to make sure that the river is held up, which makes sure that we can uh, give passage for boats up and down. It also creates uh, the, the right environment for the centre of Bath. What's equally important is as when we have significant rainfall upstream, uh, what happens is the flow gets more and more in the River Avon and what we have to do then is make sure that all that water can pass through Bath without causing a flood risk. So now I'm standing in front of the radial gate. The radial gate is the structure that we're using at the moment to control uh, river levels and it can be operated uh, automatically as it's set up at the moment or we can physically intervene here on site where we can uh, press the button in the kiosk which will open and shut it or even physically come out and mechanically crank it open and crank it shut. This is the second main gate at Twerton Gates. This is the vertical gate. Uh, so it, you can see up above me a counterweight that sits up high and that's, that is the weight that pulls it down or pulls it up. I'm stood in the kiosk which sits right in the middle of the structure. To my right is the radial gate and to my left is the vertical gate. And two things, two really, really important things happen in here. Uh, but behind me you can see all the, all the buttons. Um, so that's the electronics that allows us, uh, allows our operator to come here and open and shut both the radial and the vertical gates as they wish to. Also in here is, is the brain uh, that collects up all the, the censored information from both gates. It's transported back in here and, and there's a brain that then makes the, the, the decisions to open and shut the gates. So back in September when we had the problem and we, and we lost the river level what actually happened was that uh, information is gathered up by a whole series of sensors uh, and that information is transferred into the, into the kiosk where the computer is, the central brain that makes all the decisions and in that transfer uh, the information was getting interfered with. So what we've done is we've put in a series of extra sensors so we've put in an additional gate sensor and that means if one of the gate sensors gives us information that's just daft, it looks daft because the other sensors are all saying something else. Uh, the next thing we've done is we've put in additional fixed position sensors. In the event in September, the problem we had was that because it was all getting jumbled up, it, the brain couldn't work out where the gate was. And then the third thing is we've put in place a warning which is timed. And that means under certain operations, if it's taking longer to do the operation than we'd expect, we get a warning. So that tells us, shut everything down, make it safe, something's not right here. So on top of those, we've got two other controls. Uh, we, we've got sensors upstream that measure the level of the river upstream. And we've put in place the means by which that, will, that level will be sent down to the, the gate. And if it starts to drop, it automatically triggers a control where the gate can't open. The final thing in the vertical gate is that uh, originally, and it's, it's very normal, the sensors are set up in one single electric circuit uh, and that meant when, when the circuit breaker was confusing what was going on, you know, everything got confused. We've rewired it all so we've got three separate circuits. So that means if one of those circuits has a problem, the other two are still doing the right thing. So at the moment, we have the vertical gate uh, isolated and we're operating everything on the radial gate and of course that's, we had the problem with the radial gate 
last year where we had a mechanical brake. So we have done a number of things there to make sure uh, we're more confident about it. So we've put in place uh, sensors both sides of the radial gate, which means if, like last time, it shifts and it gets slightly out of line and jammed, we'll get that information back. We'll know exactly it's gone out of kilter and we'll mobilize to do something about it. Uh, we also, and probably most importantly, uh, we are getting an absolute uh, really detailed inspection of the gate done. This is all in advance of uh, the, the, the major project, which of course is going to replace the gate.